I heard a quote one time uh, back in the um, uh, early days about vaccines that it's not a question of, you know, um, of whether we need a vaccine. Is that you know, a, a vaccine is absolutely needed. It's really not a question of this. Um, the the tenor of the discussion in HIV disease uh, includes vaccines, but now for the first time, probably the most uh, dramatic change is that high on the research agenda is actually curing HIV. And uh, I think it's worth to kind of think about this a little bit. Um, the, the goals of our therapy are to make the virus non-detectable, so it's not replicating in the body, um, and to suppress the immune system back to its uh, normal state of homeostasis and let it recharge its battery. That's what we are trying to do. Uh, the problem uh, with HIV today is that even when these drugs are highly effective and we can reduce the virus to below the lowest level that we can detect, um, it is existing within what we call reservoirs in the body. It's dormant and latent phases in uh, cells and the blood, uh, lymphoid tissue and, and vital organs. Um, there are efforts underway. Um, uh, bolstered by observations that there are very, very rare patients who actually appear to have been cured or at least functionally cured of this. Uh, these have often required extraordinary treatments under extraordinary circumstances and are not for mass production. But, you know, I was thinking uh, the other day uh, during a recent meeting, we had attendant uh, that you know, the discussions that went on 30 years ago and 20 years ago and 10 years ago uh, wouldn't have even accommodated the, the theory of curing the disease. And now it's probably at the leading edge of the research agenda. Vaccines will be an important part of that, uh, but this has proved to be a very, very tall task because of the ability of the virus to mutate and stay one step ahead of us.